Yo, what is going on guys, man? It's your Sergio Place here, and today, man, I'm here to show you guys my team that I've been using currently. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna start off with the uh, striker position. Obviously, we got Player of the Month, Ben Yedder. Uh, I've heard somewhat decent uh, decent reviews on him, but uh, for me, he, he's done really well. For me, he's done really, really well. Uh, he has five-star weak foot, and then he has uh, six traits, leadership, flair, outside foot shot, team player, chip shot, and technical dribbler. Really, really nice player. Uh, he's, he's done well for me so far. I think he's played at seven games, 10 goals, and five assists. So it's not too bad, honestly. The right wing spot, we got uh, Garincha, man. We uh, actually packed this guy, uh, I think, out of the uh, one of the World Cup uh, icon plaques or whatever. And yeah, I mean, he's done decent so far for me. Uh, he's played on the bench a few times, so he's come off the bench and obviously doesn't really get too much time. But I mean, for what, for what he is, I mean, he's really good. 62 goals, 71 assists. And 132 appearances so he's really not too bad i think the medium low work rates really really uh kind of hurt him a bit but regardless he's still a beast next we got marcus rashford who actually isn't too bad i mean he's really really quick uh sometimes he does lose the ball quite a bit uh but other than that i think he's really really good scores a lot um uh, and gets somewhat of good assist uh his passing's really not the best but he's still really really solid for me there now my center tech in mid position we do have riyad Mahrez. uh he's actually really really solid there man he's so good He's probably one of the best dribblers I've ever used in FIFA, man. In any game, honestly. He's really, really fucking good. Um, he has 104 goals and 132 uh, assists and 219 appearances. He's really, really solid for me. Uh, he's so good, especially that left foot, man. That left foot goes crazy with him. Now, at the right center position, we just added uh, Donny Van de Beek uh, recently. He only played eight uh, matches and gotten two goals and four assists. Not too bad. Solid overall. I mean, I really can't complain right now. Uh, I haven't really used him much, so... I still, I'm, I'm gonna excited to use him during uh, the weekend league this week, and uh, yeah, see how well he does. I did have uh, Chavi Alonso, but Chavi Alonso doesn't really play that well in the center mid position. At least for me, at least for me, uh, he plays well at the C at the CDM spot, but I'm not using a CDM right now, so that's why Donny Van Der Beek is starting for me. Now my left center mid spot, we do have uh, Fabio Vieira, who's actually been really, really nice for me, man. Uh, that left foot's really, really good. His dribbling's actually pretty fucking good. It's not like it's not. I was I thought it was gonna be complete shit. But it's actually really good. Um, you know, as four star, four star, and he has 16 goals and 19 assists and 97 appearances. To be fair, he has come on as a sub a lot uh, in my old formation that I was using. I was using a 4 2 2 2. But he was coming on as a sub. But now, he, I mean, he's playing really good for me right now as a, as a center mid. So, yeah, man, I, I really, really like him. Now, my right back position, we have uh, Zanetti, who has uh, played for me 15, uh, 52 games and uh, two assists only. But he's really, really fucking good. He's really, really good. Uh, I enjoy using him. Uh, he's really, really solid. I mean, I mean, he has a solid player trait. So, I mean, he's not the fastest. But, yeah, man, overall, he's a beast. I don't really need another right back currently. So, I mean, he, he's definitely going to be there for a while now. Next, we got Sergio Ramos, man. I mean, this guy is just, he's hes an all-out beast, man. I mean, he's so good. I'm, I'm trying to get him on full cam. I need another, at least maybe another uh, PSG player to... Uh, to get him on full cam, and it'll probably help Ben Yedder out as well. But yeah, man, other than that, he's really, really good. I mean, uh, 23 goals, man, uh, from from a center back is really good. He has 99 head and accuracy with the uh, shadow, with the shadow cam style, and he's he's I mean, he's just he's just a beast, man. I mean, there's really no nothing else. I mean, he's one of the best center backs in the game, without a doubt. Next, we just have base foot hero Lucio, who is still really fucking good for me. Uh, played him in 310 matches, 21 goals. I mean, he's he's a beast. I mean, I love the duo pairing that I have back there with uh, Lucio and Sergio Ramos. They're just so good together, man. I really can't complain about my center backs. They're really good. They are really, really good. All right, in my left back position, we still have Jao Cancelo, man. Y'all can laugh at me for this, man. Y'all can say it's a fucking L. For some reason, he's still in my team. Uh, but he's really, really solid for me, guys. I, I really can't, like, I can't shit on him, man. He's really, really solid for me. I do want to upgrade him. I do. Trust me, I fucking do. But... I haven't packed anyone or, you know, I don't feel like there's anyone else that could take his spot. I really don't like spending coins. I like saving my coins to do fodder so I can make content and stuff. Uh, but, yeah, man. So, like, Jao Cancelo is really good for me so far. He's he's holding it down, man. He's holding it down. you think he'd be really, really outdated, which he kind of is. But, I mean, he's still holding it down somehow. So, I really can't complain on having him out there. I mean, he's 844 appearances, man. He's a club legend club legend for sure and then my goalkeeper spot we have Meslier. uh he's actually really solid guys he's really really good i thought he was gonna be uh complete shit but he's actually really good i thought he was gonna be a father type player but no i mean he starts for me he plays really good uh the only reason another reason why he starts is because of ben yetter uh i needed him to get ben yetter some uh some cam so i mean we only got him up to two cam but i mean we'll still take it 
we'll still take that. He's really, really good. Originally, originally I start Vandersar, but Vandersar and Meslier kind of play the same. But I think I think Vandersar is still better. I mean, obviously he has an 89 or an 89 rating, but I mean, if you look at their comparisons, Meslier is still higher rated, or Meslier has better stats overall and everything except for positioning, which I, I think is insane that he still only has an 88 rating, but. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, they're both really good for me. So like, I can spot them out and it wouldn't really hurt. I mean, I, I, these are probably the most trustworthy keepers I have on this team. And then here's my bench, guys. Obviously, we have uh, Anthony Gordon, who who would actually start, but he would be he would take two cam away from everybody. So that's, a, that's one reason why he doesn't start. And he's actually really good. He's still really good. I mean, he played dribbles really well, and I really enjoy using him. But uh, for right now, he's, he's going to come off the bench. Gareth Bell, man, there's no words to say about Gareth Bell, man. This guy just... He does it all, man. He does it all. He doesn't start in every game, but he comes on as a sub, and he he usually scores, man. I mean, I can't I can't tell you guys anything different than Gareth Bale, man. Gareth Bale is just that guy, man. He's such a great card to use, man. Almost all of his stats are in the fucking 90s. His physical is almost in the 90s. Defending, obviously, at 72, which is still really good for him. And, yeah, man, he's just a beast. But he's, very, he's such a good super sub, man. I mean, obviously, you can start him, and it really wouldn't hurt him because, I mean, his, all of his stats are in the 90s. He's that good. But I don't start him because I like getting trying my right wing spot. And yeah, man, I mean, I can't I can't really complain on him. Then we have Dirk Coit, man, who's really becoming outdated a bit. Uh, he's my second highest goal scorer on the team with 237 goals, 202 assists. But he's, he's becoming a little bit outdated, man. His dribbling, he's very, very clunky. His dribbling, his passing really just isn't the best. Obviously, Chabi Alonso is really good. I, I, I prefer to play him at a city, uh, CDM spot. Uh, he didn't really play well for me in the center mid spots. So I'm going I'm to just keep him on the bench. But I do bring him on, you know, when I'm going defense, playing defensively, trying to hold a lead. Then we have five, uh, Ricardo Carvalho, which uh, I'm not opposed to giving away uh, in, as some fodder, really, realistically. I mean, he's still good. He's really solid. Uh, I thought he was going to be worse than what he was, but he's actually really, really good. But uh, So I'm going to keep him for right now. Kuli Bai is really good as well. Uh, just I feel like Lucio and Sergio Ramos are better than him. So it's the only reason why he's still on the bench. Obviously, I already talked about Van Sar. Then we have Donovan, who is actually... My top goal scorer with 255, 143 assists, and, 300, and 343 appearances. So, a really, really good card. Uh, just feeling a little bit outdated. Feeling like I need something new, something better than him uh, to score goals for me. He's kind of falling off a little bit. And then we have Diaby. Uh, just did his SBC. Kind of not using him right now. Maybe I'm stupid to not use him, but I'm not really much of a skiller, guys. So, I kind of really more focus on the weak foot. Hopefully, they make it to the final, the semifinals of the Europa League so he can get that five-star weak foot upgrade. Oh, wait, never mind. He has to qualify for the finals to get the five-star weak foot upgrade. Never mind. But, uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully, uh, hopefully they make it to the finals. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, man, I mean, so far, I'm going to just let them, I'm going to just keep them, see how far they go. But that's my team, guys, man. I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Let me know what you guys would change. I mean, y'all are probably going to call a lot of this team mid. Uh, but, you know, it's a fun team. It's a fun team. I don't really spend money on this game. I only spent money on team of the year just for content, really. Uh, but, yeah, man, this is my team right here. I mean, y'all can call it mid. Whatever y'all want to call it, man, let me know in the comments down below. And, yeah, man, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.